Hey guys, I thought I would bring you a sales video for July. Um, I'm not going to show you everything on eBay because uh, that's 68 sales and that's just too much with all of the other stuff. But I will show you everything that was over $19.99 that I sold on eBay. And it's late and I'm making this video again. So I've got a sleeping husband and two sleeping cats. One right there and one right there. And um, I actually made this video earlier outside and there were it's right before dark and I got all the way through it. It was about 30 minutes long and there were lightning bugs all around me. And at one point, um, this little cartoon bluebird came and landed on my finger. It was Disney. And then I don't know what I did with the video. Like it's just gone. And I know I recorded it because I could see the counter going. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's not in the cloud. It's not in the dirt. I, I don't know where it is. But anyway, without further ado, um, I wanted to say that I, I'm going to give you my gross sales for each platform. And I thought with this video, I would um, also tell you what I sold on Amazon for the month of July, which is not very much, um, and my local sales, because I'm always talking about um, you know, I'm going to buy this and sell it local. Uh, I'm going to, but I never really show you what I sold. So, um, I will go over those two and I'm sitting kind of half off the, you know, so that I can put pictures of what sold like right there. So, um, my gross sales for each platform were 2230 on eBay and um, 300 on Poshmark, uh, 277 local, and 265 on Amazon. So let's just jump right into my Poshmark sales. I've been on Poshmark I ran right around 35, 36 days, and I have sold 12 things. And I'm really enjoying uh, Poshmark a great deal. Um, I know that I've said in almost every single video that I've ever made that I never wanted to sell clothes and um, I was dreading every moment of it, but actually it's not that bad um, and I am kind of enjoying it uh, and I am definitely enjoying sourcing it. So I went sourcing on Friday, it's Monday, I went sourcing on Friday and um, I had a lot of firsts on Friday. I spent about $150. I don't know. I probably got 40 or 40 items, I would guess. Um, not really sure. But I got my first Patagonia, my first Eileen Fisher, my first Cabby. Found two Cabby items. Um, so a lot of my first Plenty. Um, so a lot of firsts for me. Um, and I may do a haul video for that um, later, but anyway, let's just jump into Poshmark. So the first thing I sold, not the first thing, the first thing on the list, um, are these Akeso clogs. Um, I'm very fortunate in that my local Goodwills sell shoes for um, $4 a pair. And that's men, women's, children's, it doesn't matter, they're $3.99 at this Goodwill and the other Goodwill that's in the same town. Um, they usually have a really good selection of women's shoes and then it's hit and miss with the men's shoes, but I have found some good ones there. Um, I got these Akeso clogs for $4 and I sold them for $20 on Poshmark. Uh, also, these Sperry Topsiders, they are men's. Um, I took a best offer of $18 for. Um, the is soft Mary Janes. I just, I just bought those. Um, I listed them. I think they sold within five days. Uh, they sold for twenty one dollars. Um, these Anthro Essential Slim trousers in this kind of check pattern. Uh, I think I paid five dollars for those. $4 or $5 for those. I sold those for $34 within like a day or two of me listing those. Um, these Allen Edmonds uh, tassel kilty loafers, I paid $4 for those. Um, 
they're actually worth more than I got for them, but um, I just got excited on Poshmark and just took a, took an offer. But I still, um, they still sold for thirty eight dollars. Um, these Ralph Lauren, Lauren Ralph Lauren uh, top siders boat shoes. I took a best offer of seventeen dollars for those. Um, now, while my Goodwills have great prices on shoes, they have kind of crappy prices on women's undergarments. So these Olga bras, um, I actually paid four dollars each for, which is not a, a bad price. Um, they're new with tags, but there are lots of places around here where those are would, those would be cheaper. They'd be like two bucks, but not at my local get Goodwills. Um, I have them listed for I had them listed for twenty five dollars each, and I think I took I think I took a best offer. I think I. It, I let them bundle them for like $30 um, and just let them go. Um, these Bruno Magley suede Renata um, Oxfords, uh, again, another $4 buy, and they'll sold for $40. Um, this Prana Lorelei, like anti-rash top, this, they make Prana makes a lot of yoga clothing, and it's a great brand. Um, I paid four dollars, like everything's four dollars all of a sudden, uh, for that, and it sold within like a week or two uh, for twenty-five dollars. Uh, Dansko is always a good brand. Uh, these black embossed um, professional shoes, essentially clogs, whatever you want to call them. Um, again, four dollars. They had a little bit of damage on the toe, not much, but there was some scuffing. Sold these for twenty-seven dollars. And finally, a brand that uh, I was unfamiliar with, but I think it's Hawaiian. Um, these are um, Olukai Kupa. I'm guessing Kupa. And I paid four dollars for these, and they sold for thirty-five dollars. And that was the first thing that I sold on Poshmark. I took an offer for thirty-five dollars. Um, now on to Amazon. Uh, I only had four sales on Amazon for the month of July, uh, but there was two hundred sixty-five dollars worth of sales. So the first thing was this um, little foot plush, and this was a um, JC Penny release and it is from the 80s and it's a pretty large plush um, I got him at an estate sale for two dollars or four dollars I think two dollars and um, he did smell a little musty at first um, I washed him and um, he's he was okay and then I thought you know I'm gonna try some plush on Amazon because it's not new. I mean, you're still allowed to sell it, but you know, plush is kind of tough um, because what I can't smell, other people's can't. Other people can, and you know. Anyway, um, I sold this plush for forty nine nineteen, and it was not listed more than like a month, may, maybe six weeks. Um, the next thing that I sold was this um, Margaritaville Frozen Concoction Maker, and it's essentially a fancy blender. And these are pretty expensive. Um, I picked this up for $9 at Goodwill and sold it within a few days for $133.99 on Amazon. Um, and I don't charge shipping on Amazon generally, but this only, even though it was large and is a little heavy, um, they were relatively close to me, so it was only $16 to ship, uh, which was not bad. The next thing that I sold was this For Real Go Go My Walking Pup, and these are Hasbro, I think, um, and they were released in the 2000s, and they, I think in the 2000s, and, you know, they're walking, they walk along with you, and um, I had this thing forever on eBay. I could not sell it couldn't I mean I kept lowering the price and I know that's not always the driver for people to buy something but I thought this is surely gonna sell at Christmas it didn't um, so I decided to put it over on 
Amazon in less than a month. It sold for $49.99. And because I had had it so long, I did put fresh batteries in it and test it fully to make sure it still worked. Um, you know, because they get beat up in the bins because I go in there and I rifle around. Uh, but it did work as it should. The last thing that I sold on Amazon for the month of July was this Beyblade Arena. It sold for $31.99. I bought this with a set of uh, sealed Beyblade tops. Um, I sold that locally for $20. And, um, uh, so I, and I sold this for $31.99. I bought those at a flea market for $10 for both of them. All right, that's all of my Amazon uh, sales. So let's jump into eBay and I'll do my local sales last. Um, the first thing is this Vintage Sharp Boombox. Um, I paid less than $10 for this because I generally will not pay more than $10. Usually they're around $6 to $8 at my local Goodwill. Um, I had this for quite a while. Uh, Sharp is not like the premier uh, brand for these. Sony's a better brand, Panasonic. But um, this one eventually sold for $59.99. And all of my eBay items have um, shipping added. So um, I don't do free shipping on anything. The next thing is this Krups Il Primo Espresso Maker. I bought this for $6. It was complete. I fully tested it. Um, it worked as it should. Uh, I had it for a couple of months. It sold for $39.99. The next thing that I sold was this Cuisinart electric cookie press that I paid a few dollars for. It was um, practically new. Um, very, very little wear on it. And it sold for $28.99. And that took about a month. So, um, I was at my favorite little Goodwill, uh, not my favorite little Goodwill, my favorite little Mennonite store, and um, I picked up one pair of these glasses, and then Chris and I were in, I think we were in north of Cincinnati, in a little charity shop, a little, like a church-sponsored charity store, and I found a couple more pairs of these vintage 80s um, prescription eyeglasses and boy are they 80s and I think if you watch my videos you know I, t I teased around with those quite a while back probably probably last summer or last fall and because I know that when we were in the store this like tornado force winds and rain came but uh, so it was in the summer I think it was last summer and uh, um, I put these together and I use keywords for stranger things um, Barb cosplay, cosplay and I, I didn't know if these would actually sell or not but they did um, it took a while but they did sell for $29.99 I think I paid about 50 cents or a dollar a pair for these so pretty small investment um, the next thing is this iRobot scuba and it's this is like the vacuum cleaner only this is a hard floor um, cleaner so it actually has a solution in it that it sprays out and squeegees back up um, I paid I think I paid 10 or 15 dollars for this um, thinking it would sell really well but it would not hold the charge and um, I essentially had to sell it for parts so I had it listed for $49.99 and this thing is heavy and it's big and um, it was going to be a pain to ship anyway, but you know, I was willing to do it. And finally, I, after having it for a while, I got an offer for $25 for a local pickup. And I'm thinking, I don't have to bubble wrap or pack it or, you know, I'll just get, I'll cut my losses. So, um, uh, she bought it, made arrangements to pick it up the next week. And then she just picked it up from my porch. I never even saw her. But, um, yeah, I was just kind of happy to get rid of that. This uh, t-shirt is one of six t-shirts I bought together at a um, yard sale, a couple, I don't know, probably a month ago. And um, there were actually six t-shirts. Um, I can't remember all of them. I think there was a Styx, um, a Foreigner, a Dockin, and I forget the other two. 
but um, these are all 1990s tees, like concert tees from 1980s bands. And of course I was immediately drawn to them. Um, but this is the first one that has sold. Um, these are listed on eBay and I think I've got them cross posted to Etsy. Um, but this this one sold for $19.99 and so it pays for all of the, um, all, the rest of the lot. Everything else I sell will be profit. Um, the next thing um, is this lot of cross pin refills. So I bought these, it's been a while back. I bought six boxes. Each box had 12 pin refills of either black or blue, and except for the sixth box, which I think had 10. And I listed these in sets of five, um, either black or blue, I didn't mix the colors. And I sold these over and over and over again for $34.99 for the five pin refills. And um, I paid 49 cents a box for these. I recommend that you pick these up if you see them. These are vintage uh, pen refills. Um, this was the last bit, I think, that I had. There may be a couple, like an odd couple um, down there left, but um, I so I lowered the price on these to just finish them out. And it sold for $24.99, probably within a week or so of me lowering that price. Um, this is my first piece of Athleta that I've sold. Um, this is a Chaturanga um, herringbone, you know, tight legging. I think I paid five dollars for this and it sold for twenty-five dollars. Um, the next thing is this Ronco 3000 barbecue and rotisserie and it has all of the accessories with it. Um, I paid $10 for it. It sold within a week and uh, it sold for $99.99 plus shipping. These things are a pain to ship um, and they're bulky and they're heavy, but you know, flipping $10 to $100, I will do these every single time. And this is why I buy these Ronco's and I've sold every single one of them. Um, it's better if you have the accessories that go with it. You know, buying just the blank oven, not so good. But if it's got the spit and the baskets and the skewers and the, the string and, the, you know, all of that, it will sell really, really well. Uh, this is a Sunoco 260 jacket I picked up for a couple of bucks. I've had it for a long time. It had a lot of damage. It is vintage 70s, I believe. Um, it did have a lot of damage. I started the price up pretty high, and I kept bringing it down to find the right price point for this. And um, finally, at marking at $19.99 a few days later, um, I had someone buy it, and it shipped overseas. I think he ended up paying about $70 for this jacket. Um, the next item is this J JVC tape converter. And um, I bought this with a camcorder, so I bought the whole kit and caboodle. And um, the camcorder did not work. And it wasn't worth selling for parts. So I kept the, the cord and the charger and this tape converter. And essentially, you take the small camcorder tape, put it inside this, and it will then play in a VHS um, player. So I think I paid about $8 for the entire lot. This sold for, if I could see, I know you, you can probably see it right there, $29.99. And then the the cord just sold a few days ago for $19.99, but they haven't paid for it yet, so it's not included um, in this video. The next thing that I sold was this um, wooden track and trains. Um, this is like that Imaginarium, um, Brio Imaginarium train and track, and it is compatible with it, but it is not Imaginarium. And I didn't realize that when I bought it. I've had it for a long time. Um, I finally took a best offer of $22 for it and um, plus shipping. This Mad Cat's uh, steering wheel um, is part of a like a computer gaming system. I didn't pay anything for this. This is something that Chris gave me when she was downsizing her shed of shame. And... Um, 
so she gave me quite a few things to sell. This is one of those, and um, this had took a long time to sell. I've always sold them, but they take a long time to sell. And I lowered, I lowered the price to thirty dollars, and it sold and shipped to Australia. Um, gosh, it's hell to get old and you can't see. This Bose speaker I picked up at a yard sale for five, for five dollars, about I don't know a month or six weeks ago, and it sold. It also went overseas. It sold for thirty six ninety nine plus shipping and this thing was so heavy I don't know how much this guy paid for the speaker you know having it shipped and all that um this really ugly southwest clay pottery vase bought at a church sale with a similar clock um and I paid four dollars for both of them and I took a best offer on this for twenty two dollars plus shipping, and I let it go, let it go. Um, Yamaha Remote Control, it paid a dollar for, and it sold for $34.99, but it did take some time, probably two, three months for that to sell. Um, these Crocs latest sandals, um, first time I've ever seen high heel Crocs, because who does that, really? Um, I had these listed on Posh and on eBay, and they sold within a week of being on eBay for $26.99, and again, I paid $4 for those. Um, I got this Microsoft Trackball mouse at a yard sale for $2, and it was in the original box. It was not new, but it was in the original box, and it took about a month to sell, and it sold for $29.99. This Paul Laner, um, or Paul Laner, Paul Laner, I think is how you say it, beer boot is a promotional gift that my husband got from um, one of the beer distributor salesmen. Um, you know, just they always are giving him swag. And um, he brought that home. It was not perfect. There was a chip in the rim that you couldn't feel, but you could see. And there was a scrape down the front of the logo. But this was the only one currently listed, and there was a prior that sold for $50. So I listed this one for $49.99. Um, it did take a little while, but it sold. Um, and I like selling those things that I don't have any money in. Um, this Willow Tree Nativity set that I bought and I think I paid $7.99 for, has made me so much money. Definitely a bolo. I still have um, the three wise men. I don't know. So two of them are kind of dumb, but whatever. Um, one of them's broken. I know because I broke it. Um, but I still have the three wise men. Um, everything else I believe is sold. Uh, and I have just made hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this. Um, Mary and Joseph and Jesus, I took a best offer of $30 for Christmas in July. Um, this monster, monster, hmm, I don't even know what I'm saying. This rooster mosaic uh, measures about an 18 by 18, and they are ceramic tiles uh, in, in it. Um, the grout that is between the tiles is like a metallic copper, and it's really pretty. Um, measures 18 by 18. I think I said that already. I don't know. I'm tired, okay? I've done this once. I'm tired. Um, but I paid $6 for this at Goodwill, and it almost looks homemade, but it's really, really well done. I priced it at $150, and I was not getting you know, any, any sale on it. I knew it would sell. It's just like those, those mock stained glass windows that I buy and sell. Knew it, there was a buyer for it. I dropped the pot price to a hundred dollars, added best offer and got a best offer for $75 plus shipping. So I'll let that go too. Um, the next lineup that sold was this Cuisinart little Pro Plus food processor. 
Um, I just bought this not that long ago. It was in a haul video. I paid $6.96 for it. It was with Holly probably three weeks ago. Um, and it was new in the box. It, of course, it was open. And the chopping blade, the S blade, was missing. Um, Little Miss Parts here did not have that chopping blade. So I adjusted the price and disclosed it, of course. And within a week, this sold for $49.99. Unbelievable. And, of course, they were able, I'm sure, to get that chopping blade on eBay. Um, this m mirror, I mean, I like buying auto parts. Um, and I usually do okay with them. Um, this is the mirror for a, a Ford Fusion. Um but listed at first as Ford Focus, and it sold for $89.99, and the buyer got it, and he said, this won't fit my car, and so I'm like, oh, crap, and I had him send it back, refunded his money, researched it again, and it actually goes on a Ford Fusion, so I relisted it, I dropped the price so I could get rid of it, you know, not like the Ford Fusion is poison or something, but... Um, you know, I just wanted to be, be gone with it. And I dropped the price to fifty five seventy five, and it sold within days. And, uh, that buyer apparently is happy with it. I haven't heard anything. Um, these Party Light Infinite Reflections, um, uh, there are several different kinds of these, but this is the one that I see repeatedly. I bought it repeatedly. It's sold repeatedly. Um, I think... I've never paid more than six dollars for one and um, essentially when you light up the the votive candles inside you just see um, rows and rows and rows of the the flames so um, this I had this for a while um, and they do, they are a little bit long tail but I got a best offer for thirty five dollars and I I uh, went ahead and sold that these stained glass teapot lamps I bought two of these for five dollars each and I was sure that somebody was gonna want them a teapot collector a stained glass lamp collector I always still sell the stained glass lamps that I buy and they usually sell pretty well I couldn't give these away um, I had them listed for $24.99 a piece for a while I dropped the price to $17.99 finally, and I got a best offer for $30.58 plus shipping for both of them, so I shipped those on out as well. Uh, now this next item is called, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, it's a Danish company, Did Digsmed. It's a cutting board, a butcher block cutting board. I picked this up for six dollars and I was not really um, even sure what it was for sure I just knew, knew it looked well made and it was marked and it was cool um, I thought it was some kind of weird coat hanger thing coat you know I don't know so I did some research on it and it found out it was a cutting board and that they are pretty expensive um, Again, I paid six bucks for this and ended up taking a best offer of $28 plus shipping for that. Next item is this Jasco um, flatware storage box. It's wood. It's probably 70s. I'm, I'm thinking 60s, 70s. Really well made. And um, I had this thing forever. I paid, I think, around $5 for the box. And I was just getting ready to redonate it. Sandy's up. I was just getting ready to redonate it when I got a best offer of thirty bucks, and um, I accepted that, of course, plus shipping. Um, I shipped today this General Electric mixer in the case with the extra beaters and uh, whips and all that whisks and whisk 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 whisk. whisk. I think I had a stroke. Whisk and whips. However you say it, wherever you're from. Um, I I did not pay very much for this. I got it at Goodwill. And uh, 
Sandy, come on, man. Um, I took a best offer today, yesterday, of thirty-seven fifty plus shipping on that. Um, this Radio Shack wireless lapel pin. Would you stop? He's got the lid for my water. And he likes to push stuff up underneath the area rug and go after it. Like he's doing now. And he's hitting my tripod. Dude, quit. Radio Shack wireless lapel pin. Lapel microphone. Um, I bought this for six bucks. Dude. So, um, and I thought maybe I would use it for situations like this or really, or when I want to film outside and, um, it's a little noisy, but I tested it out and it is only in mono and it doesn't, the clock sound quality is not very good. So I listed it. I think I listed this last week. It sold today for $29.99, I believe. Yes. And um, plus shipping. So not a bad flip, but um, I hope that they're satisfied with it and I hope they realize. I did note that it was in mono. I hope that they realize. Uh, I guess I'll know if they don't. Um, okay, so let's jump on my local sales. I bought these birdhouse bookends at a yard sale. And it was one of those fill-a-bag things, but I think I ended up giving about $3 for this pair of bookends and I met them today. I, I met the buyer today and um, sold these for $22. Uh, $22 is not like this arbitrary number. I had them listed for $25. They weren't selling so I just dropped the price a little bit. The other thing that um, I had a porch pickup today, a local sale, um, is this Ethiopian uh, Princess Candace statue from Pier 1. It uh, retailed at $40 and I got it at a yard sale for $3 and um, I thought it would be worth more but it just wasn't on eBay so I listed it for 10 bucks local and a lady picked it up today and left money on my porch which is always a good thing, right? Um, I sold this Keurig for forty dollars, I picked it up for ten bucks at Walmart. This Good Grips cookie press did not end up again being worth what I thought it might be. Um, you know, at OXO Good Grips usually makes pretty quality items. It just wasn't just wasn't worth what I thought it was. So I it sold for ten bucks locally. Um, Nothing. This brother sewing machine, I bought at Walmart. It, uh, not Walmart. I bought this at Goodwill. Um, and I think I picked it up for 10 bucks. I think I picked it up for $10. I saw it on the cart and I saw them put it up on the shelf. And I went right to the shelf and got it and put it in my cart. And then when I got it home, it actually had not been used. It was still wrapped in plastic. It doesn't even look like it had ever been taken out of the box. Um, but the box was open. So I listed that. Took about a month, six weeks to sell. And I sold it for $80. Um, this Barbie case that's right here. Um, I got this at a yard sale full of clothes for ten dollars or for a dollar sorry for a dollar and the case is not in very good condition um the clothes are kind of a mismatch of stuff uh some mattel some not uh, but in it was this barbie baywatch jet ski and other accessories that i just shipped today i took a best offer of 11 50 11 25 11 50 it was 15 dollars all, all told. So I made that money off of it and I ended up with a little bit of other Barbie stuff. 
Um, you know, because when you buy these doll lots and stuff, there's always leftover stuff. And an old Barbie doll. I threw all that in as well. Sold this locally for $10. And basically, it just kept me from having to donate it. Um, this breast milk storage kit is something my sister got in a lot, in a um, pallet that she bought of Amazon returns. And she tried to sell this in the flea market booth. It wouldn't sell. So she gave it to me. And I sold it for $20. This was open. The container, like the box was open. But the stuff was still new inside or I wouldn't even try to sell it. Um, this set of flatware I bought is a Cambridge. It's made by Cambridge. And uh, I paid $7 for it at Goodwill and flipped it for $25. And finally, this... Um, Ninja co coffee maker. I paid less than ten dollars for it. I think eight. Um, and I was gonna sell it on Amazon, but it is a restricted brand, so I don't have permission to sell it on there. So I put it on, um, I put it on Facebook Marketplace and flipped this. Didn't take very long, a couple weeks, and flipped this for sixty bucks. So that is everything that sold on um, my local platform, Amazon and Poshmark for the month of July. And uh, probably about a third or maybe half of the items that it sold on eBay, that was just everything that was $19.99 and above. So have your multiple income streams because it's really important. I mean, when eBay's kind of pooping out on me, at least I've got these other places to fall back on. And going back over my solds like that, even though my sales are down, um, they I still only had 68 sales, and I'm not that far off. So uh, it does look like my sales were up 8% over last month, so I'm hoping that we are trending back into um, a good sales. Of course, we'll be gearing up for... Q4 uh, over the next month or two, next month or two, and uh, I'm never even really sure what to buy. Of course, toys, but lots of other things sell too, but I would like to have another $6,000 a month um, in Q4 like I did two years ago, um, but anyway, I have... 400 listings on eBay right now because I have dumped all my parts, gotten rid of everything. We pulled everything out of inventory and ended it um, on eBay and because parts is just not what I want to do anymore. Um, I'm trying to downsize the amount of space my inventory is taking and getting rid of those parts was really imp an important part of it. Um, I have about 120 listings on Poshmark. Um, I will be working to imp uh, increase the number on Etsy. I do have some more cross stitch and things to list on Etsy. Um, and of course I will continue to list things on Facebook Marketplace um, and Amazon as they as I find those. So, you know, make sure you're di diversifying um, and building those income streams and not relying on one, um, not putting all those eggs in one basket. Unless you only have one basket, then you don't really have much for choice, do you? All right, it's late. I am going to wrap this up because I'd like to get up and get some things listed in the morning and it will be here before you know it. So I thank you for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up if I did well in this video. Make sure you hit the bell button um, when you subscribe so you can get notifications about new content and or when I go live. And, uh, you know, feel free to follow me over on Instagram, socially underscore awkward underscore seller underscore because I need three underscores. And um, follow me on my Facebook group, socially, socially awkward sellers. If you want to follow my closet, um, it is at Modish, M-O-D-D-I-S-H. And that's it. That's all the stats I've got.
My cats are going to start fighting and I'm going to sneeze. It's a beautiful night. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.